fellow friends, as I have already told you in detail that how the thyroid follicle of thyroid gland synthesizes the T3 and T4 hormones. These hormones are then secreted into the blood from the follicular cells. As the T3 and T4 hormones come into the blood, these are trapped by the special proteins which are synthesized by the liver. These proteins are albumin, transthyretin and globulin. Globulin is also called thyroxin binding globulin or TBG. More than 99% T3 and T4 are bounded to the proteins. And less than 1% are in free form. This free form is physiologically active. Free T4 in plasma is 2 nanogram per deciliter and T3 is 0.2 nanogram per deciliter. The total plasma T4 is 8 microgram per deciliter and T3 is 0.15 microgram per deciliter. Now we will see that how the thyroid hormone is regulated. For understanding the concept we have to look about the pituitary gland. In sagittal section of the brain the pituitary gland looks like this. There are some collection of the nuclei above the pituitary gland or hypophysis, is called hypothalamus. There are some network of the blood vessels between anterior lobe of the pituitary gland and base of the hypothalamus. This is called hypothalamic hypophysial portal system. The nerve endings of the pair of ventricular nuclei in the hypothalamus secretes the therotrope in releasing hormone or TRH into the portal system. TRH is then transported into the anterior pituitary via portal system. There are so many secretory cells in the anterior lobe, like somatotropes, lactotropes, corticotropes, thyrotropes, gonadotropes. But here I will focus only on the thyrotropes which secrets TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. To understanding the mechanism I am magnifying the one therotrop. As the thyroid releasing hormone is attached to the transmembrane receptor on the therotrops, the GQ protein activate the phospholipase C enzyme present in the membrane. This enzyme converts phosphatidyl inositol biphosphate into inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol. Both are called second messengers. Inositol triphosphate releases calcium ion from endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria to cytoplasm. This calcium acts as a second messenger which causes smooth muscle contraction and changes in cell secretions. The protein kinase C present in the cytoplasm is activated by diacylglycerol. Then active protein kinase C is formed. This activated protein kinase C phosphorylates the proteins and determines the cell response. For example it increases the cell's synthetic and secretory machinery. 
finally the protein of our interest TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone is formed. Dear friends, till now we have seen that how the TSH is produced, now we proceed forward. The TSH hormone secreted from the thyrotrops moves to the thyroid gland via hypothalamic hypophysial portal system. Now we will see that how the TSH affect the machinery of the thyroid follicular cell and how it increases the secretion of the T3 and T4. If we see a thyroid cell in the magnifying way then we can see that the cell membrane contains a receptor for TSH. This receptor is a 7 transmembrane G protein coupled receptor. A trimeric G protein is attached to its cytoplasmic part. This heterotrimeric G protein formed with alpha, beta and gamma units. When the GDP is attached to the alpha unit it is in an active state. As the TSH attaches with this receptor, some conformational changes occurs in this receptor. After that, G protein attaches with the cytoplasmic part of the receptor and GDP is converted into GTP. Then alpha unit is separated from the complex and fuses with the cytoplasmic adenylyl cyclase enzyme. This enzyme converts the cytoplasmic ATP into cyclic AMP. This cyclic AMP activates the inactive protein kinase A into active protein kinase A. This activated protein kinase A activates the synthetic and secretory machinery of the cell. The activity of the sodium iodide symporter is increased. The synthesis of the protein by nucleus is increased. The activity of the thyroid peroxidase is increased at luminal side. The endocytosis is increased and finally the T3 and T4 is secreted into the blood. Till now I have told that the TRH is released from the nerve endings of the paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus. Then TRH goes to the thyrotrops in the anterior lobe of the pituitary. From there TSH is secreted. This TSH causes the secretion of the T3 and T4 into the blood.